When I'm teaching in my studio, sometimes while I'm demonstrating on my own painting, I say, now I want you to do this, but please don't do this. And so what I'll do is I'll start to imitate how I see a student sometimes paint. I will press very hard with the brush. I will make very sharp edges everywhere. I will load up my brush all with one color and fill in a large area of space without looking at variations. And I will tend to zoom in my eyes and focus on one area and just track around the painting, filling in as I go without consideration of the whole. So those are the common things that I see people do quite a bit. And so when I demonstrate this, we all laugh and we get kind of a kick out of it because we all sort of recognize the common habits that our hands do, even if our minds want us to do something different. That said, there's no right way to paint and no wrong way to paint. It just depends on what your goals are for your painting. When we look at a subject and we're excited to paint or draw it and we want to show what we see, what we're actually talking about is how the painting feels to us. And we want to be able to have our painting share that feeling when other people look at our painting. And that way, when you work on a painting, you are successfully describing what is your visual experience and what is your emotional experience. And that is what we're sharing with other people when we share a painting that we have created.